it's just like do it like who cares whatever i'm all ready for dinner hair tutorial the way that's more so who i get scared of. yeah and i'm so happy with it I didn't want to take that into account. I'm so sad. Little secret. Yeah. Uh, this is it. It's been too long. Guys, I'm so disappointed in myself. Yeah. Yeah. Cost for lunch. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel and another vlog. I am so excited to be vlogging over the next few days. I actually have a lot on and I'm really excited for you guys to be joining me. But first on the agenda this morning, which I'm so excited about, I'm finally going to Dode. If you guys live on the Gold Coast, you've probably heard about it already and it's meant to be really good. So I'm finally going there. It is all the way out of Hope Island, which I feel like has been just putting me off a little bit because it's like 30 minutes away from me, I think. But in saying that, like Palm Beach is around 30 minutes away from me. So it's really not that far. Um, but yeah, I am really excited to go. They basically do donuts, they do like sandwiches, and then they also do like strawberry matcha as well, except for I did just see on their Instagram story, literally at like 8 a.m. and they open at 7 a.m. that they've already sold out of strawberry matcha. And it's a Wednesday. So I'm like, how have you sold out already? Like that doesn't make sense to me. Like they obviously just weren't very prepared. So I might just get like a regular matcha, um, but I'm excited to to go and try everything and then after that I have an appointment at skin I am just getting some injectables done so the last time I got my injectables was probably like three or four months ago now and it's definitely worn off I just got a lip flip and then Botox in my eyebrows so I'm just gonna do the exact same today part of me would love like a teeny tiny bit of lip filler like the tiniest amount but I feel like you have to either pay for half or full and I don't think I even want like half like I feel like I just want like 0.2 mil or something like I literally want just the teeniest tiniest little bit just to like pump them up a little bit but I'll just have to ask them and see I definitely don't want like half a mil or a mil so I'll have to see and then after that I have my hair appointment as well and I'm so proud of myself you guys it has been eight weeks since my last hair appointment and that's probably the longest I have held off getting my hair done in I would say like five years maybe. I would usually get my hair done every four or five weeks. So I am very happy with myself. Basically look brunette, but that's what happens when you don't get your hair dyed all the time. I do have a hair mask in at the moment as well. So that's why it's looking a little bit darker, but I'm so excited to get my hair done. I got it last done the week before my birthday, which is the beginning of February. So we're now in April. So very, very impressed with my efforts there. I'm also wearing burgundy today, which is honestly not really my color. So if you're wondering why I look so washed out, it's because one, I'm wearing burgundy, two, my hair's basically brunette, Three, I scrubbed my tan off last night as well, ready to do a fresh one for the week. And I'm just looking not my usual self, but that's okay. We're doing a little bit of a baba room situation this afternoon, and I'm very, very excited about it. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head off now. Also, by the way, burgundy, I feel like just like isn't my color. I definitely and more like a pink yellow light blue kind of girl like growing up my mum would always just be like those are your colors and i feel like she's definitely right i definitely want to do like a proper color wheel and find out what my actual colors are but i think they are i really want to be like a cherry burgundy red like girly like i'm obsessed with cherry at the moment i'm going through a bit of a phase it's a new one but i am going through it but i think because i've got blue eyes it's just like i feel like you need to have like brown eyes or green eyes Whereas like blue and red just like don't really go together. Um, but anyway, Milo's on my lap. I literally always just have at least one of the sausages on my lap. Hey, that'll show you guys what I'm wearing. It's just this like hoodie set. The pants are actually like a bit too big for me to be honest, but you guys can't really see, but it's like this. I also feel like my lips look so different today. I mean, they actually are different. Usually I always do, I always get asked about this, but I always do, um, MAC lip liner in Oak and then I do the Morphe lipstick in Crush and then Fenty Beauty gloss literally every single time but I literally had to apply my lipstick three different times this morning like kept taking it on and off because it just looked really pink and I just feel like pink and burgundy like aren't really a vibe together and I wasn't having it so I just have my lip liner on right now and then just road lip gloss and that's what we're rolling with today i'm so sad i managed to get a cookie at least but i really wanted a donut 
it's just, this is the only one they had left. It's the salted caramel pretzel, and I've just had a sip of the matcha. Matcha's really good. They don't have coconut milk though, so it's just on almond. They're also completely sold out. They literally only have two of those cookies that I have left. Um, I did order a sandwich as well though, so I'll let you guys know how that is. I also realized that if you I didn't really take that into account. So I'm gonna have to come back when it's not so I don't know if we're gonna be in this one with the cookies, but it's just not really like me. So I wanna just try it right now. But I can still try the sandwich, I guess. I'm just waiting for my sandwich and I had a half of this cookie and it's actually so good. It's got like caramel in there, white chocolate chips, and then also like pretzel too. It's really yummy, really doughy. It definitely reminds me of like the cookies cookies. Guys, I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> Not myself, like I don't know why I'm disappointed in myself, but just like disappointed in the turn of events because I literally like fully got ready this morning. I was like, I'm gonna do my hair and makeup, like go film this for TikTok before my, do I have like bread in my teeth? Probably. Before my appointments. Sold out. And look at the weather today. I could have been at the beach. Not in a tracksuit, don't ask me why I'm in a tracksuit. I just wanted to be comfy while I was filming and it's literally like 30 degrees outside. This is like the behind the scenes of content that you guys don't see, the waste of time. Now I've got to drive home another 40 minutes, just take my makeup off. But I did get yummy fruit out of it. Like I still got my matcha. The annoying thing is more so that I'm like trying to be healthy. So it's like a waste, if that makes sense. I'm gonna see what I can do with the footage I got. But I really wanted a um I really wanted a donut, so the matcha is really good by the way. I rate it. I also only had half my sandwich, so I'm gonna eat the other half now. I'm just sat waiting for my appointment because I've got a little bit of time up my sleeve to wait. I'm just gotta wait for like half an hour before I go in. But yeah, really sad about that. But it's alright, you win some, you lose some. I'm also yeah, upset about the fact that I have like eaten this. It's good, but like, I just wish I was like filming it or had filmed it properly, but that's right. Big cheesy smile, beautiful. Okay, swing your leg back and round. Probably our age. Yeah. Like, that's more so who I get scared of. Yeah, it's like young kids that are really cute, like old people. myself just struggling with my um breathing so i'm just going to try and like do more consistent breaths and you'll be surprised like when you have these in between intervals like you, you get your shit together pretty pretty good but like, you'll that you'll see improvements like fairly quickly like if you just like running three times a week will, you guys will get pretty fit yeah like, especially if you're riding or uh, like riding Oh, and we're also swimming on the same day, so I'm fucking exhausted to say the least. Yeah, I'm so tired. Um, yeah, am I eating good food? Not so much, but <laughs> that's just me. No, I'm gonna I'm pulling up my eating this week because I was just going broke over Easter. Get some carbs in, I don't know. Yeah, but the only thing yeah. is I don't like I don't like function well off of eating like I've always trained fasted so and even my swims I feel like I feel so tired and like yucky in the afternoons because like I've just eaten all day and like even like drunk heaps of water like I get like gassy and um like 
burpy vibes. Yeah, I know what you mean. I have, to, I have to like, I have to um, like, just be careful what I eat for lunch if I'm working out in the afternoon. Yeah, I'm just... literally. And I'm just like, I just have never, like, I never train. Um, like having eaten, so I'm like, I don't know if I want to like dabble in that. Yeah, even just. Well. Yeah, isn't it just, just send me like what you were explaining before, like the 10 minute thing and then if there's any you think, but don't, yeah, don't. There's like heaps of different ones. Do, do well, this, this is what I do, this is my running coach. Yeah, running. Dave the runner. Yeah, I'm gonna come watch you do your thing too. Yeah, I need to look up, um, I need to like look at accommodation and stuff. Oh, I don't know, it's gonna to ask, um, is, does the course have any hills? No, nah, not really. Apparently. Oh my god, yum. I'm so excited for this. So for dinner, I'm just having crispy chopped potatoes. They're not as crispy as I would usually like them. But honestly, I just couldn't wait any longer. I'm starving. And then I also just have some beef mince with a like taco mingle seasoning, jalapeno cheese sauce, spring onion, and pancetta. Honestly, super quick and easy. And we obviously have our protein from our mints and then carbs from our potatoes which will help keep me fueled for the exercise and training that i'm doing at the moment good morning excuse all the clothes hanging out there i am shooting today so i just have all the clothes out ready to go i need to like pack them all up though um but yeah i'm so happy i didn't show you guys last night but i'm so happy with how my hair has turned out and i'm so happy with the length of my hair as well i know you guys are probably sick of me talking about it, it sound like a little bit of a broken record but i am just really happy with how much it's been growing recently and i'm really happy with the job angel did as well yesterday she did it nice and blonde we just did a half a head of foils so I always get questions about what I get done and usually I'll do like I'll just sort of like alternate I think I actually explained this to you guys yesterday I can't remember but I'll usually do like a quarter head quarter head half head full head sort of like that vibe it sometimes like changes occasionally but for the most part that's sort of like what we do and she's amazing she is also taking on new clients as well so if you are based on the gold coast make sure you go and check her out and book in with her because she is incredible she nails my blonde every single time um so yeah really happy about that and i've had the best morning we did some pbs this morning alana and i with our run so we went for our ride this morning and then we only did eight kilometers we decided to go down to miami this time instead of going down towards the spit so we just did that we weren't sure if it was going to rain or not because the forecast had said it was going to rain so we were just sort of like taking it easy in case it did rain um because we didn't really want to ride in the rain um so we just did that and then we went for our run afterwards and we finally did it in under five minute pace which is so exciting I'll actually show you guys the split because I feel like it's really good and we just it felt like really comfortable this morning as well we've been basically progressing every single time we've ran for the past three weeks so I think we started at I'll actually show you because I've broken it down but we've gotten better every single time we've ran and we've run together six times over the past three weeks so just twice a week but each time we've gotten better and better which is like really exciting and we were just hoping we would get under a five minute pace in like a week or two maybe but we actually did it this morning which is very good very happy about that um so yeah we're just kind of like trying to keep doing the same thing and then just like obviously hoping that each time we do it we keep getting progressively better so yeah i'm really really happy with our efforts we're also not going to go for a swim this afternoon though because i obviously have freshly dyed hair and i do not want to ruin it from the chlorine um but yeah i'm so happy with like how she is going and it's like so thick and just healthy no extensions She's thriving. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pack up and shoot because Matisse will be here soon. I'm just shooting this cute, like, cozy set. I also just put fake tan on because we have not been seeing sun recently and I need to be tan for the weekend. So 
using it baddest of course it was the end of a bottle so you know how sometimes like the end of the bottle isn't like as dark but i'm not mad about it i feel like it still goes dark enough anyway i also thought i'd mention that my we didn't really do my split ends like we did my fringe and stuff but not really down the bottom here just because i have been wearing my hair in a bun a lot recently and i feel like if we cut the ends then i'll just split them anyway because i keep putting my hair up in a bun and also because i've been swimming so much with my training for the triathlon as well it's just like breaking the ends of my hair a little bit anyway but once my swimming training is over um after the try i feel like it'll be back on track because i have noticed specifically in the past two weeks that my hair has been feeling like just a little bit yuckier and i think it's just from the chlorine obviously because my swimming cap literally doesn't do anything to protect my hair from staying dry or keep it from staying dry keep it staying dry um so yeah i feel like after that i'll be ready to rumble i just want like an extra like inch but i'm really happy with where it's at in the moment as well so in terms of our progress this has been our progress over the past three weeks so if you see this top one here that was on the 19th of march and we did a 541 pace then on the 21st of march we did a 516 pace the 26th we did a 514 the 28th we did a 510 the 2nd of April we did 507 which was on Tuesday and then this morning's run we did 458 and I'm just so happy with that. But I'll show you guys the split as well. So if we just scroll down to the bottom here, we have this morning. So the first kilometer was 453, second was 5, third was 5, fourth was 5 and then the last one was 456 which I'm really happy about. It was like challenging but it wasn't like super uncomfortable either. So yeah, I'm really proud of our efforts this morning. Yeah, cute. Love that. That's perfect. Thank Your you. head. Thanks, boo boo. Nice. No. Nice. <laughs> I just got home from shooting and look what it's arrived. This is potentially my tri suit. They only had extra, extra smalls in stock. So I'm going to try it on. I'll try it on with you guys and we'll see how she fits. This is it. And I just attempted to get it on. She does not fit. It is an extra, extra small, but they were just sold out in the other sizes. So I was thinking like, surely it'll be fine. I thought it'd be a bit stretchier, but I can confirm it's not stretchy at all. And yep, so now I don't know what I'm gonna do. You guys know the drill, just having my protein smoothie for sort of like a really late breakfast. It's currently 1 p.m. and we're all done shooting, but I'm just going to get some work done on my laptop. I drink this also edit the photos that I took and send them across for approval as well I've just finished getting ready because Jake and I are actually going to go out for dinner tonight we haven't gone on a date night just the two of us since probably when we were in Sydney last so that was like a month ago I think we've just been very social with like we've had lots on with a lot of our family and friends and stuff like that so yeah we're gonna go just for a date night tonight because we have a lot of plans over the weekend but it's again with a lot of friends so we're just trying to prioritize some time just the two of us which is nice I'm just wearing this whole outfit is from Princess Polly I love it so much I've been waiting to wear it at some point um so I just have this cute little like corset top and then my tan I like didn't kind of like remove properly from my belly button so it's made it look like really dark and strange so don't know what's happened there but um I'm just also wearing it with these are my favorite jeans they're also from Princess Polly my discount code for this month I don't have it yet because we are in a new month, I think I'm getting that package tomorrow. Um, but I will leave the discount code written in the description for you guys anyway. So yeah, this is my little outfit of the night. I just have on my cute little like hibiscus earrings as well. They're so cute. We're just going to go to Malibu Racket Club because we've never been before. Just like maybe like a drink and some starters and then we're gonna go to Paloma just for like their steak fries for dinner because it's really good there but they're I think they're both like walk-in only so hopefully we can get a table Jake's back on his spritzes so give me a try I actually haven't had one since last time Oof, it is nice Good. Yeah, yum, this looks incredible. So we just got a little like antipasto starter plate and then it also has some little bits of like sourdough, toasted sourdough I think, a piece of olives. Dinner was really good. All my lipstick has come off, so I'm gonna jump in the shower and 
take all my makeup off, hop into bed. Honestly, the steak, our Paloma, you guys, if you're ever on Gold Coast and you like your steak, it's honestly so good every single time. And I missed going there, it was incredible. We like smashed it for a little bit, we like go there all the time. So I feel like we overdid it a bit, but we haven't been in ages. So I feel like when you like have deprived yourself of something for a while, it's just even better. And it was incredible, so would recommend. Good morning, it's currently 5.30 a.m. I've just gotten up. Well, I got up like 10 minutes ago, um, just because we uh, checked the forecast and so it would be raining this morning, so obviously you couldn't walk the doggies. That's little Mr. Romy having some water. Hi, baby. He's so cute. He's going back to bed with Dad. Fast asleep. It was so nice sleeping with the rain this morning because I feel like my body clock just woke me up a little bit earlier like 4 30 vibes like I was definitely still asleep like the sleeping was really good but um like I felt sort of awake I guess and I just came out here Jake was up later than me last night and this was here so I don't know how that happened but very excited because I was actually shooting this today and this has like a deadline this month usually I can just shoot it at any point in the month and it's fine, but they want specific dates for my content, which is a haul, like a YouTube haul, TikTok haul, and then an Instagram post as well. So I'm stoked that this arrived because today, yeah, I had scheduled in to shoot that content. So I'm excited and I'll open it up now and show you guys what my discount code is for the month as well. And then I just need to finish getting ready for Pilates. discount code for the month is Alia Polly all in capitals and I've got some really cute pieces I'm so excited for this you guys will see it in my next fall anyway right with two more film today I did my hair a little bit differently I followed one of Delaney Child's um, like hair tutorials she honestly always does her hair so amazingly and I actually am really happy with how it's turned out it's like a very like messy updo and I think it looks really cute so that's what we're rolling with today I just wanted to switch it up because I get really annoyed filming because um, I've got to film a haul with like I just get annoyed filming like a haul with straight hair like my hair just like in my way whereas at least like this my hair's up which is good um, but yeah it's really cute I'll let me know if you guys want me to show you how I did it because it's actually really quick and easy so I could definitely show you at some point um, but I am already film I'm obsessed with oh what's happening here I'm obsessed with this top it's so cute it's got a little rose on it and it's in the burgundy color like I told you guys I'm obsessed and these jeans I think they're actually the light wash version of the ones I had on last night excuse the fact that they're really long I don't have shoes on yet um, but I think they're the exact same jeans just in like a light wash version because the fit and everything is pretty similar so I'm stoked about that because they're my favorite pair of jeans and these ones are actually like a little bit looser which I actually kind of like because the other ones are a little bit snug on me whereas these ones are a little bit teeny tiny a bit more comfortable um because they are low waisted like sits like really close to your like crutch and stuff so yeah but i'm gonna start filming now so make sure you guys watch my princess polly haul discount code is ali polly um there's some really cute pieces i'll show you guys like really briefly 
and uh, then we actually have I have Rick Shaw's tonight with uh, a bunch of the girls which I'm really excited about except for my outfit that I planned on wearing I don't even know if it's gonna come here in time like I don't know if it's gonna arrive today or not if it arrives today I'll be fine because we're not going to 545 but if it doesn't then I will need to go back to the drawing board these are some of the pieces here you can't really see much but I want to encourage you guys to go watch the video this jacket I'm obsessed with I have it in the brown as well and whenever I wear it I get so many compliments literally when I wore it to sold out I had at least five people ask me where my jacket was from um so they've like released it in this like burgundy color which is really cool do you go in the sauna I went in the gym somewhere in the swim whoa you did a swim yeah in the pool yeah proud of you I'm all finished filming now I filmed it for both youtube and tiktok so i'm gonna make myself something to eat i'm just gonna have my smoothie as always nothing exciting and then i'm gonna get some editing done before verity gets here verity's actually staying over tonight so we're gonna have a little girls night after rickshaws obviously um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm actually like this is probably one of my favorite hauls from princess polly in a really 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 long time like i always love my hauls but all these pieces I know I'm going to wear all the time this autumn. So definitely go and check out that video. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with how the content turned out. I'm all ready for dinner. I had actually intended on wearing something completely different, but the package didn't arrive. And I'm actually so happy it sort of turned out this way because I actually ordered this dress from Meshki. It's so beautiful. And this did actually arrive. I was wanting to save it for a holiday, but there's absolutely no reason why I can't just rewear it. And I feel like it definitely does give like vacation, but it also does give like wintry, like gloomy weather as well. And it is still raining. It's meant to be raining most of the weekend. So I feel like this is a perfect sort of like in between. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy I got it again before it sold out. It was sold out for ages. And then I was signed up to the restock notifications list just via text message. So as soon as it went back on sale, you best believe I snatched it up. It's so beautiful though. I'm obsessed and I definitely like feel like I need to book a vacay so that I can wear it again as well. But it's so pretty. I've just left my hair the same. I'm so obsessed with how I've done it as well. I'm definitely going to be using this as a regular hairstyle i think i'm so excited for a bug roll you guys have no idea i know every single time i go to rickshaws i say that but honestly i am so hungry i was gonna eat in between having my smoothie and then dinner but i figured i may as well just hold out because i'll probably eat quite a bit at um dinner tonight because i know that there'll be like curry and like things like that as well i always get questions actually asking like how i manage like sort of eating lots or eating out and things like that um mostly on my instagram stories but i my answer to that is that i obviously train a lot i do a five kilometer walk every morning and i work out every morning also walk the dogs as well so i usually do around like two and a half hours of exercise every single day and then when it comes to eating out i'll just try my best this isn't always the case but i will try and um like on a normal day i'll have my breakfast but i'll push it out i'll fast a little bit i'll push it out have lunch and then a snack and then dinner sometimes dessert not always and uh, then when it comes to like traveling and things like that i'll just try and not snack if i'm going to be having three bigger meals or if i'm going to have um snacks then i'll have like two bigger meals and then snacks instead and just sort of like move it around like that accordingly it just depends on like where i'm eating what i'm eating if i'm having lots of pasta or whatever it just sort of depends but that's not very helpful i feel but that's sort of the answer to that i'm also just wearing these cute little heels and my cool guy bag as well so i'm guessing the bill amount <laughs> Oh my god, and we, we literally ordered 
one drink each. No, are you going to retract or do you want to go 750? Oh, what are 720. 720. What do you think? <laughs> um, I'm going to say yeah. 60. Okay, I'm going to guess 480 for me. Okay, let's have a look. Woo! Oh my god, who said 60? I said 620. Okay, you're a winner. actually come out a little bit so I've just come down to the beach the boys are surfing and I am just going to read my book it's actually turned out so nice I'm currently reading the second book from Magnolia Parks' point of view and I'm actually really enjoying this one a lot more than the first one. It still doesn't compare to Daisy Hates but I am loving it so far. I loved all of them so far but I feel like Daisy Hates was definitely my favourite. This one has been really good though. Always in the kitchen. Do you need to um, like mix this in or not? This sits like that. Yeah, it sits like that. I'm all ready for lunch. I'm going with Lauren just to cost for lunch. We're going to go there mostly to get a photo. We might eat something. I'm not too sure. I'm not super hungry and we're having people over for dinner tonight. So, yeah, I don't think I'll eat too much. But I'll bring you guys along anyway. Um, but, yeah, it'll be really nice catching up with her, having some one-on-one -on -one time while she's up from Sydney. And then this afternoon or, like, this evening, we have some friends coming around. Lauren wanted to do like a dinner situation. So we've just booked upstairs and everyone's like sort of bringing a plate and then we're gonna like watch a movie afterwards. So not like my usual full hosting situation, but we are still gonna like make some food and stuff for dinner tonight. And I'm excited. So after cost, we're gonna go get all the groceries we need and then we'll come back here and make like salads and stuff like that, which will be really nice. So I'll show you guys what we end up making. I'm also making a new salad that I haven't made before. It's got like peaches and like prosciutto, rocket and like stretch cheddar and stuff as well. So I'm very excited to see how that goes. If you guys can hear the noise, um, the boys are just making the beef brisket right now. They're like cooking all the meat. I'm leaving them in charge of that because I'm like, I don't have time today and it needs to get put on ASAP. So. Yeah, so I'm going to head off now. I'm just wearing this set from That's So Fetch. I don't actually have the bottoms on right now, otherwise I'll show you guys. But you'll see a photo on Instagram, I'm sure, of me in it. But the material and everything's so nice. The skirt's really cute too, but I'm going to put that on now until Lauren gets here. but it seems way later because it's still really dark outside it's a little bit rainy i'm about to leave to go to cool and gather where i were meeting um Alana and crystal we're gonna go for a morning run we're going to go for like a walk go to native state and try a new cafe down there that i've been really wanting to try except the weather it's like fully raining so we're still gonna go and just like run in the rain or whatever i've got an umbrella for our walk and stuff but we were really hoping it'd be like a beautiful sunny morning which it's actually meant to be tomorrow i feel like it keeps like coming sunny as soon as the weekend's over i don't know what's been happening um but it should still be really nice and i'm excited to spend time with them and native state should be really good as well i've been really wanting to go there it's like a bath house and it looks really nice i'm wearing just black active wear because i'm going to wear this for the run and then get changed into something else for everything else like the walk and stuff like that so that i'm not wet um but yeah that's what we're up to this morning. We did it! Woo! Five kilometers in the rain. It was actually, I feel like you can't really tell in the footage, but when we actually arrived at Cool and Cutter or like Kira Beach area, I suppose, it was like torrentially raining, like pissing down, literally the wind and rain was going sideways and we're like, what are we going to do? Like it just looked like you could not run in it. And we were just like sat there pondering for like 20 minutes, I think. And then we were like, let's just like do it. Like who cares? Whatever. Like 
it was just like freezing and raining and we're like we're just gonna be getting wet anyway like afterwards we're going to native state so it's fine so we ended up running in the rain and i'm actually so proud of us for doing that we ended up i think alana tracked it because i didn't want to take my phone so she just tracked it on her watch and it was like a 5 30 pace which is pretty good um considering we were like running in the rain we were also running with our friend crystal so we just wanted to like take it easy she's actually really fast at running as well um but yeah, it was obviously raining so we didn't want to get our shoes and stuff wet or like injure ourselves in case we like slipped or something so it was really good and we felt really accomplished afterwards which was really nice and then we went for a walk literally in the rain we were already wet so we we're like we may as well just do our walk in the rain as well while we wait for our like scheduled time because they didn't open till eight like our booking time um at native state and honestly it is so beautiful there it's really just nice and modern and beautiful and they've done such an amazing job of the space we went in the cold plunge not for very long but it was 10 degrees which is actually quite cold and like the sauna and the spa and stuff i obviously didn't vlog the whole time i was in there because i want to respect other people's privacy but it was really nice and we had a really nice morning. Oh, and then we went to Kefi Cafe, which I've been wanting to go to. I actually saw it on TikTok. And the girl that owns it, she, if you guys have followed me for like a really long time, then you'll know that I was always obsessed with Paul Paul Cafe, like still am to this day, but they're in Brisbane, so I never go. And I think she was like the store manager, maybe of Paul Paul. I just recognized her face when I saw the TikTok and I was like, oh my God, she's opened a cafe. That, like, that's so cool. So I've been wanting to go there just to like support her because I just feel like that's amazing. And like, obviously sign your own business is so hard and it's a massive challenge. So yeah, I was like, I just want to go there and like check it out. And it was so good good the food was incredibly good as well so yeah it was really nice she was there as well um so yeah it was really nice and would definitely recommend if you're ever in the area go to kefi cafe spelled k-e-f-i um down at cool and gather there which was really nice but i am going to sign up this vlog here i just have a heap of just like work stuff to get done today so nothing too exciting but i love you so so much and i'll see you in my next video bye